I grew up in Potchefstroom and I was raised by my grandparents. Uh, my grandfather, Saltiel Mokhoje, and my grandmother, Ellen Mokhoje. And when I think about it, it seemed like just a normal family upbringing. But the more I think about it these days, um, I realized just how important my grandmother was in my upbringing, what a force she was in steering me in the right direction. There's this saying that my grandmother used to always throw my way whenever she sensed a bit of laziness creeping in. And in Setswana it says, Banabakhosi ituteng mulodi malatasa leteng, which roughly translated means, sons and daughters of kings, teach yourselves how to whistle while the shepherds and servants are still there. And what, what she was trying to say to me at the time is that one needs to use every single opportunity given to you to learn as much as you can so that no challenge that ever falls on your path is too great for you. And it's done wonders for me in my life where I think subconsciously I've always taken on every single opportunity to learn as much as I can. And so it's with a bit of gratitude, actually a lot of gratitude that I look back on these lessons and the many more that have shaped me or shaped me to be the person that I am. So it's for that and the many, many lessons that have shaped my life that I'm forever grateful to my grandmother. I wouldn't be who I am without her. So when you think about it, isn't it time to say thank you? My love for food started at a very early age. At about six years old, I was the child taking out cookery books from the library as opposed to normal reading books. So when it came time to choose a career, I had a conversation with my parents and they said to me, well, tell me what you like to do. And I said, well, I really like to cook. So I enrolled in a culinary arts school, studied for three years and specialized in food media. Part of the um, course is that you get placed in a professional kitchen. And I was placed in one of the top um, restaurants in the country at that time. And Chrissy Rasmus was the head chef. Um, and being an intern in a professional kitchen, nobody really pays attention to you. But for some reason, Chris wanted to teach me something. And for some reason, he decided that every single day he was going to teach me something new, which, I mean, is invaluable to a, a student chef. Every day he'd come to me and be like, Zola, you're working next to me today and we're filleting kudu today. Now, I'd never seen kudu or filleted kudu, but for some reason he wanted to teach me. The next day he was like, Zola, you know when you eat Rice Krispies, chefs can make those. So he taught me how to puff rice. If it weren't for Chris, I probably wouldn't be the type of chef that I am today. He has so much passion and taught me what passion for food actually is. He's just an incredible human being and a wonderful chef. So Chris, after all the things that you've taught me, all the love that you've given me, I thought it was time that I said thank you. So I've always been a fashion enthusiast. I think ever since a young boy, um, kind of growing up, I've always kind of been interested in fashion and, and what's been trending on television and, and all that kind of stuff. And um, I mean, at the tender age of 16, I started applying for, for jobs. I mean, just to kind of, you know, get to know myself a bit more in terms of, in terms of fashion. And that's why retail was, was uh, my number one choice. And um, lucky enough for me, um, this place, this really awesome men's boutique place uh, offered me a job. Um, my former boss at the time, he was absolutely amazing. His name's Yasin and he taught me so many, so much of the qualities that I have already. I mean, just looking at the way he, he kind of dressed and presented himself to clients and, and customers. And um, I, I don't know, I think it kind of all boiled down to, to the way he re represented himself. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, going into my new journey now with, uh, with YouTube and, and kind of, you know, instilling, instilling the qualities and, and the lessons that I had learned from him, um, it's just been such a great adventure and it's just been so awesome. So I thought it was about time. I said thank you to Yasin. You've been such a legend and uh, you've taught me all the qualities that I have today. You're a legend. Thank you.